Hello, my name is Ali Borhan. I'm a technical project leader in the area of control system research. Um, I took this course as a part of my artificial intelligence graduate uh, uh, certificate and, and today I'm going to briefly talk about my course project and some of the fundings uh, that I had during this, this, this project. So the title of my project was about the applying deep learning uh, models to develop predictive models for chest x-ray uh, diagnosis and as you can see uh, schematically in the MIU I developed these models that takes the x-ray image at, as the input and it can predict uh, 14 different uh, observations for different type of diseases that can be detected uh, based on this um, um, chest x-ray. I also apply this class activated, uh, activation maps that can localize some of the areas of, of, the, of the image uh, for, a, for a related uh, positive uh, um, uh, observation uh, for a given uh, x-ray uh, image input. Um, so this is a schematic view of the model. In terms of the data, I use Chexpert data, which is uh, publicly available through Stanford University, and that includes 200,000 of the images. Uh, so for the baseline model, I applied transfer learning on, on DenseNet 121, um, and, and initially I got a relatively low performance uh, results uh, on the test, test data. Uh, then I uh, let the optimizer to tune all of the parameters of the model and I got some improvement but still uh, I saw a very low uh, results on the F1 score for a few of the class labels. Uh, then I uh, looked at the other type of uh, convolutional neural architectures but I didn't see any improvement and, 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 and uh, in terms of improving the F1 score for the test data. Uh, then what I did is I did further error analysis and look at the data and I realized that there is an unbalanced issue in the data and, and to fix that I applied a method which is called upsampling methods to increase the, the size of the data for the observation with low amount of the data and that uh, and, and the reason that I could su successfully apply that was because of uh, low correlation between those observations with respect to the ones with high amount of the data and after applying that I could significant I could uh, I could get significant improvement in terms of the performance of the model of the test data uh, for both precision records and also F1 scores. Um, so to summarize, I apply different uh, convolutional neural network model on this big amount of the data. I, I did uh, error analysis and I realized that uh, the, the importance of, of splitting the data into train, development and tested and also pre-processing of the data and also balancing the data for different class level for this multi-class classification. Uh, so with this, I, I conclude my, my presentation, and I want to thank uh, Arti Bakur for her mentorship of the, uh, her, for her mentoring me during this project, and of course uh, Professor Andrew Engel for his great teaching of this course. Thank you. Bye.